Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, and you are going to be doing a, another activity for vocabulary so you can practice what you've learned last week and this week. So today we're going to be doing a complete the sentence. So basically we have a sentence, and then we are missing the word that's going to go in the blank. So we're going to go through some strategies of how we are going to go ahead and complete this. First of all, you'll notice that the page is split into three sections. So the first section is the visiting folk singer. So the first thing you want to do is think about what that title might, what words might go in that title. So visiting means they're coming to see us, we're visiting it. Um, a folk singer is a singer that sings about folk songs. Um, and folk songs are songs that are written um, by normal, common people. And it's usually about um, things that they have done as they have been growing up. Um, so this is someone that's going to come visit, either a class or a group of people. The next one is called rights in America. So some of your rights in America. One of your rights is the right to come to school. Um, so that's what that paragraph is going to be about. And the third paragraph is about medical research. So that would be something that has to do with um, researching something, maybe people that are researching COVID at this time. So we're going to come back up to the beginning and we're going to start with our very first sentence. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a line or a paper over top. So we're only looking at one sen sentence at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a highlighter and I'm going to highlight some of the important things that might help me figure out what word would best go in that spot. So it says, we are excited, so this must be a good experience, I'm excited, that a real, that means it can't be anything made up, so I'm going to highlight real, is coming to visit our class. So it has to be someone that's real that's coming to visit, and the coming to visit, okay? Um, it is not very often that we have the chance to meet someone so famous. Well, there's a great word right there, famous. That means it has to be somebody that's real and they're famous. So I'm going to kind of underline that. And when I look up at my words, I can see, and I remember this, somebody that's real or famous. Look, there's the very first one I see, and that's going to be celebrity. So I'm going to write that word in that blank. And I'm also going to cross it off because once you use it, you can't use it again. Now, be careful. Don't scribble completely through it because if you scribble through it and it's not the right word, you need to come back. It's hard to see the words again. But I'm pretty sure about that one, so I'm just going to cross that one out. Okay, so I'm going to go down. I'm going to do another one with you, and this time I'm going to do it with the rights in America. Again, I'm going to look at that very first one, and it says... In America, one of our blank freedoms is the right to free speech. So the right to free speech is one of our freedoms. And it says some people consider it the most important right. Most important. So when I'm looking back at my words, I'm trying to think about what word means the most important. So in America, one of our most important freedoms is the right to speech. That kind of makes sense. So I'm going to look up here and find the word that means the most important. And as I look through here, I know it's not drowsy. That means kind of tired. Hall means to carry something away. Sincere means um, I have a deep feeling for it. Um, and when I come down here, I see the word essential. So I'm going to write that word right there, essential. And again, I'm going to just lightly cross it off so that I can go ahead and complete my, um, keep, keep working on this. Okay, so I'm going to let you finish doing this on your own. Remember, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and look um, back in your vocabulary learning packet. These pages are in there and you can go ahead and use those dictionaries again, those little words, the definitions again. Okay, good luck and I'll see you tomorrow.